It's been a little over two years since a gunman opened fire inside the Capitol Gazette building, killing five employees. And today that gunman appeared in court yet again. WJZ is live in Annapolis tonight. Paul Gessler has details from court on why the gunman's attorneys are trying to suppress a doctor's evaluation of his mental fitness. Paul. Hi, Rick and Vic. Since the gunman's guilty plea back in October, Judge Laura Ripken has ruled in favor of motions filed by both legal teams. Today into tomorrow, perhaps the biggest decision in front of her on whether she should suppress parts of that gunman's psychiatric evaluation. Public defenders for the convicted Capitol Gazette gunman argued in court Wednesday, prosecutors violated several constitutional rights in acquiring a psychiatric evaluation. The gunman pleaded guilty last year to the June 2018 attack in Annapolis, killing Gerald Fishman, Rob Hyacin, John McNamara, Rebecca Smith, and Wendy Winters. Defense attorneys argued the gunman is not criminally responsible for the murders. It's Maryland's version of the insanity defense. The defense team said their client's jail cell at the Jennifer Road Detention Center was searched without his or his counsel's consent. Questioned the warden on access given to the state's expert witness. Anne Arundel County prosecutors called the motions a fishing expedition, one of which calls for portions of the psychiatric evaluation to be suppressed. That state witness, a psychiatrist, interviewed 35 people last year in his report alleging the shooter is fit to stand a criminal responsibility portion of the trial, which is currently set to be decided by a jury in December. Back live now, the motions hearings continue into tomorrow here at the Circuit Court of Anne Arundel County, where Judge Ripken is expected to hear from about another dozen witnesses. For now, reporting live from Annapolis, I'm Paul Gessler for WJZ.